the communication to your network infrastructure devices has been locked down. Now let's look at some techniques you can use to secure the interaction between people and your devices. In the physical world, fingerprints have been used for more than 100 years to identify individual people. In cybersecurity, fingerprinting is a technique where an attacker gathers information about a device. This information is then used to facilitate an exploit against the device. In the example on the left, you can see a typical switch login screen. It contains a lot of information which could be useful for an attacker, such as device manufacturer, model number, and software version. While this information is useful during network commissioning, for day-to-day -day network operation, this data serves no purpose. So hide it to ensure device anonymity and remove a weapon from your attacker's armory. Appropriate use banners are typically displayed together with a device login screen. They are used to highlight that any unauthorized attempt to access the device could result in severe legal consequences. Of course, these banners cannot prevent an attack against the device, but they may deter an attacker. They could also assist your legal department in any subsequent legal action against an attacker. If all your employees are using the same login credentials, accountability is lost. One of the most effective things you can do to protect your network devices against unauthorized access is to set up user accounts. Log files make extensive use of usernames to record who has done what. iOS offers a number of predefined access roles, such as full read write, read write except security parameters, read only plus saving log files, or pure read only. If none of these fits your precise requirements, we can customize a role to match the responsibilities within your organization's structure. Today, every time you create an online account, your password must conform to a policy which describes length and characters. So it makes sense to have the same requirement for your switches. By demanding a minimum password length, as well as specific characters, you can increase security by compelling your users to use strong passwords. Attackers will try to guess the passwords, so you must limit the number of login attempts before the account becomes locked. Attackers who deliberately cause accounts to be locked are also creating a denial of service. So it makes sense to allow accounts to be enabled automatically after a period of time. When your employees want to log in to your network devices, their credentials must be checked. HiOS offers several ways to authenticate your employees. The simplest way is to store usernames and passwords in a database on each switch. But this has a potential disadvantage. If an employee leaves the company or a new employee joins, the database on each switch must be updated. A second option would be to use RADIUS. This is a tried and trusted mechanism for storing credentials in a central server. The technique is certainly scalable.
A third option is to use LDAP to verify credentials. This is the same system which is used for your Windows login. So you can provide users with a single sign-on across your organization. You need backups of your device configuration files in case a device needs to be replaced. But what could happen if the configuration files fell into the wrong hands? Of course, sensitive information such as passwords is encrypted. But there is still a lot of potentially interesting information in these files. The obvious answer is to encrypt the configuration files, and HiOS certainly offers this option. But that leads to a classic example of where it is not possible to have both security and convenience. Traditional device replacement using removable media will not work with encrypted configuration files. A device in factory default needs to be given a password to decrypt the file. So you need to make a decision. If you can be certain that the configuration files can be stored securely, then leave them in plain text. If not, encrypt them. Switches support many security mechanisms and it can sometimes be challenging to decide which mechanisms should be implemented on a switch. The HiOS security status function is here to help you. The security status configuration screen lists typical security functions which can be configured on a network. From this list, you can select which functions are important to your network. An alarm will be generated if one or more of your selected functions have not been activated. This means you will be notified about unsecure configurations.